step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. And find the Chevy that's right for you. Find new experiences. Find new roads. Chevrolet. Hey, welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. And here on the Central Bank of the Ozarks High School Game Day, presented by Labor's Local 663, Shelter Insurance Agents Grant Baker and Aurora, Sean Holman in Lockwood, Doak Propane, uh, excuse, excuse me, Doak Propane, the Bank of Billings, Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, and Great Southern Bank. We welcome to the show Parkview basketball head coach uh, Landon Cornish. And uh, Coach Cornish, thanks so much for being a part of it today. Yeah, you bet, guy. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. But, uh, you know, we visited, uh, oh, about three months ago, you know, going into the Arvest Classic there at Parkview High School and uh, got to look, and we talked a little bit off the air, but you look at the uh, the participators in that tournament. You've got Raytown. They're playing for a district turn, a district championship against Lee Summit West. You've got yourself, Kickapoo, playing for a, a district championship as well. Uh, Jeff City Elias uh, is playing for a, a tournament, uh, champ, our district championship. We've got them on. Uh, later in the show and then Fayetteville is playing for a state in the state tournament down in uh, Arkansas so what a way to start the season out yeah yeah that's pretty good and you know that's one of those things that we wanted to do is I think everybody in that tournament could you know agree that we benefited from the great competition early with that and seeing where your teams are and making sure you're playing good people um, so uh, that's exciting and that's what we want and I think that's helped prepared us all and, and especially us we know that for sure you bet uh, heading in, and first, let's talk a little bit Class Five District Six Championship. Uh, talk about the games that got you to this point. I know you had a battle with a Hillcrest team that really got better as the year went on, but talk about the uh, district run. Yeah, um, you know, obviously, I, I think you know saw it was a really tough district going into that district. Um, I I saw some people say that was the only district with four state ranked teams at the time um, for us in Class Five with Neosho, Web City, ourselves, and Bolivar. Um, we opened up, you know, as the two seed plan, I thought it was probably an underseeded Hillcrest team. Um, Hillcrest got a lot better as the year went along as they were trying to find themselves and they got hot and had won several games going into the district tournament. So um, we knew that was going to be a really tough game, especially for us being an in-city game. Those games are always difficult um, and the talent that they have and what, what Coach Fielding was able to do. They did a really good job towards towards the end. And uh, um, it was a, it was a battle. You know, it was a tie game with a couple of minutes to go in the first, you know, in the fourth quarter. So, um, you know, guys able to pull that out, made the plays when we needed them to make plays and made some free throws down the stretch uh, to get that win and get into the semifinal against Webb City, um, who went in, you know, at 18 and eight, same record as us. Um, guys came out and played extremely well. We got on them early. Um, we were up 20 at half, um, able to be up, you know, 30 going into the fourth quarter. Um, kids just came out defensively and played really hard, created a lot of turnovers and and got some baskets. And we made shots and we had open looks and knocked them down. So um, we feel like, you know, we've been playing well. We're excited to have a chance to go play against a really good Bolivar team tonight. Um, they got us earlier in the year by double digits here at, at our place. So, um, you know, they're very talented. Obviously, they, you know, with the state runner up finish last year and, and really good players. And Robbie does such a good job with them. So I think it'll be a fun environment, good atmosphere. And kids are just excited to play and, and just be a really good high school basketball game. You know, you mentioned that earlier uh, matchup in the season. What are some things that you're going to have to change if you're going to come out on top? Uh, we're going to have to make a lot more baskets. Uh, we did not shoot the ball well uh, when we played the first time. Uh, I think we were two for 19 from the three-point line. So uh, the game's easier when you make shots. So we're, we're definitely going to have to score the ball. We know they're big inside. Um, We'll have to defend and, and try to get our hands on a lot of passes, get a lot of touches and a lot of deflections the best we can. We'll have to rebound extremely well. Um, they killed us on the offensive glass last time. Um, a lot of second chance points, and we can't do that. And you guys know that. And that's an adjustment that has to be made, and we'll just have to go play. Yeah, you mentioned making shots on a lot of coaches you know, around the area. When I talk to them about Parkview, or, uh, you know, they say, hey, if Parkview's making shots, they're as good as anybody in the state. And yeah. uh, are you shooting the ball right right now pretty well? You've, this will be your third game you've played at Willard. I know it's a little bit of a different type background mm -hmm. that you're mm -hmm. looking at. Do you feel comfortable going in there tonight? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, we've had two games under our belt in there. And, you know, the gyms are gyms. We've played in a lot of different venues and facilities this year, you know, being at Missouri State and then, you know, playing at JQH Arena and the Tournament of Champions. And, um, you know, Parkview itself, we have a different backdrop where we've got a lot of space behind baskets before, you know, you get to a wall. So, um, you know, I think it just guys get shots up. We, we, 
and we put a lot of emphasis in your warm up. Make sure you're getting in a good warm up where we go hard and make sure we get a lot of baskets. You know, a lot of shots up there. So um, we feel good about it. You just got to go make plays now. I mean, um, we're they're ready to go, and we've shot the ball well lately here, and um, we'll just keep working at it. And hopefully, you know, they they go down tonight, and we can we're able to you know make plays. Are you guys, you know, about 30 games into this season here, six months? Uh, are you pretty healthy right now at this time? Yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're 100%. Um, we can't ask for anything else. We've been, we've been super light and just kind of, you know, at this point in the year, you're not, you're not grinding and trying to invent new things in practice and things. So we're healthy. We're shooting the ball well. We're playing well. And guys are excited. And, you know, I think that's, that's a big thing going down here towards the stretch when you're, when your team, when your team still wants to be playing and they like each other and everybody's, you know, in, in good spirits, that's kind of all you can ask for at this point in March and just to go play. Um, you know, honestly, we probably would have rather just had a day off instead of two days off to go, go into this district championship and just, and just keep that rhythm and keep playing. So everybody's good to go and fresh and, and we're ready to play tonight. Absolutely. Well, we're, uh, we're going to try and be in attendance there at Willard High School. You guys schedule, I think, probably 745 following the girls' get girls championship game. Yeah, um, that Carl Junction and Willard will be before us. That girls' game starts at 6. So, um, we, you know, depending on what how that game goes, obviously, probably, you know, our schedule, I think, is 730. But if it, if it goes a little bit later, I think it'll be um, good atmosphere. I think there'll be good crowds throughout the night there for both, for both games. So, um, you know, looking forward to it. All right. Well, Coach Cornish, as always, I uh, just greatly appreciate you being generous with your time here on the Missouri Sports yeah. Network. And uh, hey, go get one tonight, and uh, we'll be there in 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 person. Uh, all Missouri, right, the Missouri Sports Network will travel. Well, I appreciate it, and thank you for all your coverage all this year, from the very beginning when we start that to the tournament and everything you're doing for uh, for all the athletes in the, in Southwest Missouri and across the state right now. And um, you know, our kids appreciate it. And I know the coaches, I, you know, I enjoy watching the videos and, and catching up with other guys and seeing how they're doing. And I'll try to, you know, make sure I catch out Coach Rothweiler here in a little bit. So uh, thanks again for everything. And, and we'll see you tonight. You bet. You bet. Coach Landon Cornish, Parkview Vikings head coach as they prepare for a district championship at Willard tonight at 730. Keep it right here at Missouri Sports Network, where everyone has a home field advantage.